Hi, this is Luke Zip from Crocker Farm Auction, and I'm here with one of my favorite examples of Baltimore, Maryland stoneware pottery, and it will be offered in our Fall 2021 Stoneware and Redware Auction. So as you can see, it's a beautiful, um, beautifully potted example, just this classical form with loop handles. Uh, it's beautifully fired with bold cobalt oxide, and just immaculately decorated with incised bird and foliate decoration, both on the front and on the reverse. And we can see that it's made, there's actually an incised signature on the bottom, which is Morgan and Amos Makers, Baltimore, 1820. So Morgan and Amos represents the, uh, it's actually at the site of the first stoneware pottery in Baltimore, which was at Pitt Street in Baltimore, which is now currently Fayette Street, like right downtown in Baltimore. Uh, it was actually started by uh, the partner of Morgan and Amos, William Morgan's father, Thomas Morgan, who came from Hartford County, Maryland. The first stoneware potters in Baltimore were really just making locally, um, just locally marketed wares, a very cheap local manufacturer. Um, they really didn't know the technology of making fine stoneware like this jar. That all changed about 20 years later at the start of the War of 1812 when Henry Remy came from Manhattan, uh, both with the technology of how to produce high quality stoneware, but also really the artistic expertise of how to make beautiful forms and beautiful decorations. So this jar in and of itself represents kind of that blending of two worlds, almost like a Creole language of stoneware where you have the first stoneware pottery in Baltimore um, making kind of Manhattan style stoneware in the city, but really with a local flair. Um, so these decorations, mostly when you see incised bird decorations in Baltimore, that's a, a decorative technique that Henry Remy took from Manhattan and started in, in the city, um, you know, by the, the War of 1812. Um, th those are the vast majority of known incised birds in Baltimore. But very rarely you'll find a Morgan example. We sold one, one uh, signed water cooler by, with a later signature from the Morgan pottery. Uh, we sold a flower pot that could be attributed. There's a pitcher at Mesta that could be attributed to Morgan. And then this vessel that is signed. Um, it's kind of a legendary piece in and of its own right. It was on the cover of uh, Ceramics in America 2005 edition. It's this gorgeous close-up of this side of the jar. And really when we sell stoneware and we market it, we want people to understand that not only were these vessels made to be utilitarian, but the best examples um, are really representatives of art and clay. And you can see this is just such a great example of that. It's so artistically executed, not only finely decorated with the incising, um, both with the detail in each bird, just the fine detail on the flowers and the leaves and the incised veins, incised feather detail. But it's just this unique uh, artistic expression that you have to polar opposite birds on each side, one looking to the reverse, one looking forward. It's just such a gorgeous example of Baltimore, Maryland stoneware. Um, honestly, I had never seen it in person until we uh, received it for consignment for this auction. I was actually really taken aback by its size and scale. Um, the fact that it's a four gallon jar really does um, you know, add to its appeal and really its uh, presence in any collection. It would be worthy of any uh, major stoneware collection or uh, certainly it's a museum quality piece as well. And we're thrilled to offer it in our fall 2021 stoneware and redware auction.